Hello, what's good? Welcome, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Christian Bachas and I'm an artist, painter, muralist, sketcher from New York City. And before we jump into things, this is a sort of draw with me video, so I'm just gonna be sketching some things um, and I'll talk about what I'm sketching a little bit later. But firstly, I encourage you to sketch with me. I've made this video almost exactly 20 minutes, so I encourage you, you know, to just take 20 minutes out of your day. So while you're watching this video, you could just be doodling something, maybe trying to draw what I'm drawing using the same strokes, um, something like that. And this is very much so a new style of video for me, but I like this idea of encouraging people to draw and pick up a pencil um, and, and draw every day. So if at least one of you guys do that, one of you guys, you know, watch this video in its entirety and actually spend 20 minutes drawing, I'll consider this an, a success. So yeah, let, let's jump into it. So like I mentioned, my name is Christian. I'm from New York. Uh, if this is the first video that you're seeing from me, welcome. Uh, I appreciate you for clicking on. Um, and we're just gonna chat today. We're gonna talk about everything to do with sketching is, is, is the theme for today, since this will be sort of the first episode if I do continue this series, if a lot of people like it. Um, so yeah. So for this first episode, I'll be drawing a bunch of portraits. Portraiture is something that I love doing. It's something that I started doing right when I started making art because I really wanted to get good at drawing faces. And there's something about being able to copy a picture of a face or copy uh, a face in real life. That's just so beautiful. And I, I love just the stylistic things that you could do with it, right? You could switch up like the sizes proportions and all that um, and I think it's really fun so yeah like I mentioned I started drawing portraits in 2020 and I actually started a portrait sketchbook and I think that might be cool for some of you guys to see because I started off doing these really poorly you know uh, I was not proud of any of the work that I was doing but I was watching a lot of tutorials and I was practicing almost every day just drawing faces drawing faces that I saw on YouTube videos or screenshots that I took or on Pinterest which Fun fact, I still do to this day and I'm actually doing here in this video, but I'll get more into that. But yeah, I think that drawing every day is is a very good thing to do um, for a multitude of reasons. It, it keeps you, kind of keeps you warmed up. If you're if you're an athlete, you know that, you know, taking too long of, of, of a rest um, instead of just like, you know, one day or two days in a row, it, it can greatly debilitate your skills. And when you think of the hand, right? Skills of drawing as a muscle, you need to constantly be working that out. And that's very easy to just give up and not do and not think about. Um, but if you're really serious and you 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 wanna do art for a living essentially, or or you just find it to be fun, uh, I highly recommend you you draw every single day. And of course that might not be possible for some of you um, because because of life, right? <laughs> just, just to put it bluntly, life gets in the way. But this is just 20 minutes. I, I, I think carving out 20 minutes isn't too much. You know, we all have a commute to go to work or or school. Um, in New York here, I, I take the subway everywhere. So drawing on the subway is not a bad idea. You know, maybe when you're eating lunch, you know, or if you're just hanging out at home, watching TV, you just pull up a, a portrait on the side or you could come come up with a portrait from, from your mind, um, which I don't recommend because I think painting from, from life, from images is, is probably the best to start off before you start creating your own. I actually got bogged down uh, when I first started because I started painting from my mind and it just didn't look right and I was so confused and I was so I was just so sad about it right um but I, I learned that painting from reference is what pretty much everyone does um and it's normal so don't be afraid to pull up some pictures and, and just draw so yeah instead of commercial breaks we do drawing breaks so you don't have to you know constantly be staring at the screen so I will see you in a bit
So for today's video, my medium of choice is my, my favorite. If you watched my video about testing a bunch of sketching supplies, this one was by far my favorite. This is my bread and butter, the one that I've been using for a while. Um, and I credit that to Drawing With Waffles. If you don't know who that is, uh, she's another YouTuber here on this platform um, who doesn't really post as often, but uh, has a bunch of videos in her backlog of her just sketching, her just putting pencil to paper and, and ink pens and markers and whatnot, a bunch of different mediums. Um, but her favorite was this ballpoint pen. Uh, I don't think it was the specific one, but it's just drawing with a ballpoint pen because you don't erase what you what you marked is there and you can't move back and you don't get, you know, you don't get second chances essentially and it just keeps you mo moving forward. It just keeps you progressing and drawing more instead of just, you know, staying on old sketches and whatnot. And I think that's, that's beautiful. I, I think that's one of the reasons why I, I don't like watercolor. And if you do use watercolor, if you know about it, um, you just have to layer, right? You start off light and you just layer and layer and layer on top of that, you know, creating those forms slowly. And I, I, I'm not good at that. I hate that. I get very impatient and, and watercolor is probably my least favorite medium. Sorry, sorry to all the watercolor lovers out there. But for me, it, it, it's just not for me. And I think it's because I, I'm impatient and I like to be able to go back like with gouache or with acrylic paint and just paint right over what I just did to fix it up. Um, but when you're sketching, you know, it's not necessarily good to, to always want to have the perfect piece to have the, the final product immediately there, uh, like in watercolor. So, um, this is good practice. This is good just to sketch with a pen. It's also very inexpensive. I'm, I'm a big cheapskate if you know me and getting these supplies, getting these pens for like 20 cents each on, on Amazon or, or CVS or something uh, is very nice. Very, very, very easy for me. But they do have some issues and you'll see in a second that little mark that I made on the cheek there um, doesn't go too well I, I thought something was just wrong with the with the pen um, but when I went back into it it uh, sort of smudged and I didn't just want to leave it like that so I, I tapped it with my finger which probably wasn't the best thing to do but but alas we move on we move forward um, I, I think these are fine for what they are for the price especially uh, I'm not paying like five dollars a pen so it's fine but yeah, I feel like I, I should also mention that um, I don't only sketch faces. You know, that was a big part of, of my first sketching journey, of the start of my sketching journey, I should say. But I, I also sketched uh, a lot of other th other things like graffiti and uh, plants and animals. Um, so I also have sketchbooks for that, um, for that type of stuff. Because I was all, I was interested in all these things. And I, I never grew up having a sketchbook. My artistic talents were never cultivated when I was a child. Unfortunately, um, they sort of blossomed over the year of the pandemic and I, I just fell in love with this. I just fell in love with being able to just sit down and draw and, and, and put down my phone, maybe listen to some music, um, maybe listen to, maybe watch a video, um, but really just focusing on the art and just making something beautiful and learning a skill. I, I love learning skills. This is not a, 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 an ad. I'm not transitioning into an ad. Do not worry. Uh, I'm, my channel isn't even monetized yet. No ad. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think, uh, learning a skill is very valuable. I, I, especially in art, if you have a talent, it's very easy to monetize that talent, um, and convince people that what you do is good and you could give it to them, right? Whatever they want in, in the form of a commission. And there's also other talents that are good to just develop on your own, just to be, you know, a party trick or just for self-improvement. Um, over the pandemic, art was not the only thing that I got into. I also got into solving Rubik's Cubes. I was seeing people online solve Rubik's Cubes and I was like, I want to learn that. So I, I, I set out a goal to be able to solve it in under a minute and, and I got to that. Um, I also learned how to juggle. I learned the alphabet and sign language. Um, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty, I'm, I'm a little weird. So I, I like stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, those are just some skills that I developed and, and drawing, of course, was another one.
So I've talked about medium and, and the content, um, but let's talk about reference photos. I get my reference photos from Pinterest. I'm sure you've heard that from, from people, everyone. But I encourage you to, to look around. You know, Pinterest isn't the, the best, um, in my opinion. I, I think there's some Instagram pages that, that have a lot of stuff. Um, I think it depends really what, what, what you what you want to paint. You know, you could also go to a museum and take pictures of dinosaurs and draw that on your free time. Um, it just depends what, what you want to learn, what your stylistic choices are, what you what you have fun doing. Um, I actually love to, to, to paint people. And there came a point in my career where uh, Pinterest photos were not, were not cutting it for me. They just felt too stat static. And I, I didn't like the idea of just taking someone else's photo and just reinterpreting it into a painting. So I actually, so this year, 2023, I actually started taking street photography photos because I want to capture, capturing those little moments of, of people, you know, drinking their coffee or walking their dog or just walking around the city. And I want to be able to paint that and, and show city life. And something about that is it, it's, it's been really fun. It's been really beautiful. I don't draw them as much, to be honest. I don't, I don't take the time to sketch them, although I should do studies more often. Um, but I have been painting them and, and I do have a large project coming up. Um, that I'm not sure is good for YouTube because it's just such a long project. Uh, but I've been recording the project, no, the the process nonetheless. Um, but yeah, I encourage you to also, you know, go out there and take your own photo references. You know, um, if you're a portrait artist like me, it might be just easy to start out with, with Pinterest or, or Instagram and stuff. But um, I think eventually, you know, getting out there and finding your own is, is not a bad idea. Sketching is also good, uh, like I'm, like I have been implying. Sketching is also good to develop your style, uh, your stylistic choices, your mark making techniques, your your content, all of that jazz. Um, I don't use my sketchbook a, as a as a perfect, you know, representation of my art, like a bunch of artists do. My my sketchbooks are ugly. They they're full of a bunch of notes and doodles and and words and phone numbers and and whatnot. Um, and they're just like, it, it, it's just a space for me to just put down my ideas, put down my words, my scripts, especially for, for these type of videos, um, and, and just and, and just have them there. So don't, you know, worry about your sketchbooks not being perfect. I'm sure in the future I'll make a video about showing you all of my sketchbooks. Um, uh, probably not the old cringy ones, but I will I will show you the old portrait ones because those are, those are terrible. But yeah, I, I, I think uh, developing Developing those stylistic decisions is very important in the sketchbooks. That's why I actually paint a lot of portraits now, because I found that, you know, the, they were the most fun to do and I, I just keep enjoying them, but in just a different medium. I think YouTube is also a good way to expose yourself to a lot of different types of art and develop those, those skills. So, you know, if you want to learn how to draw pets, for example, you could just look up drawing pets sketch and you could learn how other artists sort of carve out their faces 
uh, of these animals, um, you, what reference photos they use and such. Um, so, like, for example, if you're into portraiture, uh, this isn't necessarily a good example, but you can see me trying out the circle first, right? I, I always start out with the circle, even if it's uh, a character of mine. I don't know. It's just something that I've always done. And then I start off with this midpoint line, which is kind of where the forehead meets the chin, right? That line. And then I just, you know, roughly map out like where different features are going to be, like the ears, the forehead, the mouths. Um, and this one is unsuccessful, I will say, because I just went straight into drawing the mouth instead of like, you know, going light and sketching that in. You can see I'm just sketching in the nose right now. Um, nonetheless, you can see like my, my, my process essentially. And in doing that, you might feel inspired to draw. I, I remember you, I, I remember watching um, Slew back in the day. I always talk about Slew, but Slew's the f goat, man. Um, I remember watching Slew back in the day, and he used to do these stencil projects. And I used to be like, what are these stencil projects? Like, how do you even come up with this, like, brain and, and this whole concept? And watching his process videos, I was able to learn so much. I was able to think about that a lot um and then eventually develop that into my own project um not necessarily using the content but definitely using the stencil technique and the the color palette stuff um and you could learn more about the project that i actually did that was very much influenced by him um it's on my website and it's called who is worcester um and from those videos that he posted about cutting up these stencils and picking out the colors from dark to light and um you know having a contrasting background and whatnot I was able to create this art piece that used those same techniques, but then also develop them and use them in a meaningful way because I started off by using my art to be, um, uh, w w I wanted art with a, with a plan, with a goal. Um, so my goal was to help get some students at my school off the campus and into the communities. Um, so I essentially created a project where I wanted to promote a bunch of people that were doing good things in the city and graduates of the college and people with open email access so you could just email them get to know them talk to them um maybe get involved with what they're doing uh and i used his stencil technique i i, I bought his video and i remember going that i remember going home um the day that i saw his watched his video and I was just sketching and I was just drawing and I was like, oh my gosh, this will be such a good idea to eventually develop this and do the stencil project of these bold figures and outline them really nicely and, and all that jazz. So um, I think YouTube is a great tool. Um, I've been watching YouTube. I, I just saw this account uh, has been watching YouTube since 2014, but I do think that I've been watching since 2013 and uh, I, I can go into like all my YouTube history um, even though my art history is fairly new, I, there's a lot of different things that I could do to help you guys, you know, get to this point. Um, because I think I've, I've reached a point in my art career where I, I think I, I, I'm able to share about my experiences and inspire other people. Um, so that's sort of, sort of the point of this video. So, um, again, I, like I said in the beginning, this is the first time I'm ever doing this sort of format. But if you enjoy just me just rambling on about my life, my art, my skills my my tips and tricks and and all that um i don't want to call this a podcast but it's kind of that um, i'm calling this like a draw with me i guess so if you like to draw with me you know comment down below tell me that you enjoy this and if at least one person does that i will make another one i promise um and maybe eventually more and more people will will, will comment down below and we'll make this a daily series and i will encourage more and more people around the world to sketch every day so yeah, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one.